What's up, everybody? It's uh, 7.50 uh, Tuesday morning. On my way to work. Probably going to be about five minutes late, which is pretty normal. But today I brought a fishing pole and my tackle bag. And I'm guaranteeing I'm going to catch some fish after work. I don't care how hard it is. Uh, I've been fishing recently and haven't been catching much. But today it's going to happen. As soon as I get off work, I'm going fishing. So I'll check back with you when I get done. Yeah! Got my first fish. Ah, a little largemouth. I switched again. I had that little uh, inline spinner and I switched to this uh, spinner bait. Cast it over the same place where I had a hit. Caught this little largemouth, probably 12 inches long. There's a the start. There's one. Yes. Now he's little, but it's better than what I've been catching. I switched to this little uh, jig head because uh, it's, it's so mossy in here. I'm trying to find something that'll get him to hit. I see some bass, you know, most of them are a little bit like this, a little bit bigger, but I just haven't been able to go at, get him to go after it. So I'm going to keep trying stuff out. I'm glad I've caught some largemouth though. Oh, I just walked up here cast in this little creek and a fish came up and hit it. It looked like a bass. I see some little fish in there following it. All right, we got some fish going on in here. This may be the place where I catch a few fish. There's one. Oh, not, whoa, not bad. Yes. Oh, that's a Kusa bass. A good one, too. All right. I've fished two ponds so far. That one pond is a beaver pond where this, this creek uh, backs up in it. It's really a small creek that's got these little deep holes. Got a good Kusa bass on the rooster tail that time. I've been changing lures and using all kinds of stuff, just trying to catch a few fish. I saw some fish in the last pond, but uh, I couldn't really get them to go. There's another one, a little one. It's a uh, shiner. Just a shiner. There's one, finally. It's like that may be the one that's been biting at it. Oh, it's a green sunfish. I think that was the one that was biting at my lure. That's a pretty green sunfish. A little fat belly on him. There's another one. Yeah. Next cast after I caught that green sunfish, a red breast sunfish. Yeah, nice. Hey, I got it. <laughs> I barely got it at the very end when I was picking it up out of the water. Uh, another little red breast. Nice looking little fish. All right, well, there's uh, was that five fish out of this little creek hole here? I got one more creek I'm gonna hit. It's in town. I gotta go get something to eat anyway, so it's pretty close by. So I'm gonna go to one more spot. Well, I haven't caught anything yet. Nah, uh, that's just my lure. I, I wish I had one. I may catch one down there. They're under the bridge a lot. Wait, let me see. Can we catch it? Kind of uh, some little uh, bass, some bluegill, a bunch of little minnows. It's just a uh, spinner. Come on. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cast. Well, I'm gonna cast it in here and see if I catch anything. Now, this is some urban creek fishing. If you ain't got a shopping cart in the water, then you ain't doing it right. Hey, there's one. Thought I wasn't gonna get one from this creek. 
this is the creek uh, goes right through the middle of town and um, fish aren't very active over here I'm getting a lot of bites from shiners but that's about it well here's kind of a surprise catch I'm just stopping in throwing in I can't really see how deep the water is because it's in the shade just cast in over here it's kind of shallow Caught a little largemouth. It's the first little largemouth I've caught out of this creek in a while. Whoa! What is this? Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Whoa, that's a real healthy coosa bass. All right, check out this coosa bass. Look at the belly on this thing. Man. <laughs> Look how fat this thing is. It felt good, especially in the current. That's a good fish there. fighter too all right I'm starting to get a couple bass just caught that other one uh, just a few feet back from here he's got a little pot belly on it too that thing went right up under the bank there I can't even see it no more that must be where they're all hiding out during the winter time while I can't catch any. All right, look at this tiny little one here. Man, this would be awesome in a uh, aquarium. Look how I love the spots they have on them when they're young. Real colorful. Oh man, he got that thing. Well, there's a uh, brush pile, I guess, down here in the creek, down by the bridge. This old lady came by and asked what I was doing and said, hey, it looks like there's a good fishing hole down there. So I'm gonna head down to that, be my last place to fish, see if she's right. Yeah, there's one. Man, these little fish fight like they're monsters. Well, that's going to be my last one for the day. I've been wearing them out on this rooster tail, reeling it slow. I use a six pound mono. That's what I usually use on my creek fishing rod, which is a five and a half foot, which is the, the medium sized fluger reel. Well, this is going to be my last one. So I'm going to let him go and put the camera under the water.